New at 5.30, an American kidnapped and held hostage in Russia speaks exclusively with 8 News. The interview comes as a movie about his ordeal opens in Richmond tonight. Our 8 News senior reporter Nate Eaton just finished speaking with that man and Nate, his story sounds remarkable. Yeah, Amy, the kidnapping made headlines around the world back in 1998. President Clinton got involved and miracul miraculously the young American missionary and his colleagues survived. Tonight their story hits the big screen. A true story of two young Americans no, 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 don't shoot me. No. kidnapped and held hostage in Russia for five days. President Clinton pledged full supportive efforts to bring the missionaries to safety. One of the men behind the real life drama. We were expecting to die. Travis Tuttle. He was 20 at the time, serving a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We knocked on the door and he immediately opened it, which was one of the many red flags, how quickly he opened the door. The hostage takers had met Tuttle and his companion on the street and invited them over. When they walked inside the apartment, they were attacked. And they jumped us from behind and they started beating us with uh, like baseball bats. And they took us in the, into the other room, immediately threw us down on the ground and handcuffed us and hogtied us. Where are you going, my friend? Mm -hmm. They made a ransom note, they took our pictures, they uh, photocopied our passports and they put it all into a bag and they went and put it on one of the more prominent uh, people in the city and put it on his doorstep. The kidnappers demanded $300,000 from Tuttle's church as his family in America waited to hear if he was dead or alive. The probability of your son coming home alive or unharmed is very low. Did you ever think that you were going to die? Oh, absolutely. To me, the story was important. Filmmaker Garrett Batty followed Tuttle's story and now 16 that, that years that later is bringing it to movie game. theaters in a film called The Saratov Approach. No, our goal wasn't to be to, to be preachy. We wanted to play in movie theaters and not, not churches. My son! The action-packed movie is getting positive reviews and both Batty and Tuttle say regardless of whether you're Christian or not, the compelling story will have you on the end of your seat. I want you to write your last goodbyes. This might be the last time to have a chance to save your life. Well, the movie premieres tonight at the Virginia Center Commons Regal Cinemas in Glen Allen. Tuttle will be there tomorrow night at 7 for a question and answer session. Obviously, you can tell the men were freed, but to this day, both Tuttle and his companion have permanent nerve damage on their hands from being held in handcuffs for so long. Pretty intriguing story there, Gene. Back to you. Well, thank you very much, Pete.